Hey fellow book lovers, it is Nate Stout here and I wanted to share a new book with you guys today from a series called The Beyonders by Brandon Mull. Stay tuned. All right, thanks for staying tuned. So I wanted to share a book with you guys today called A World Without Heroes. Um, it's the first book in a series called The Beyonders by Brandon Mull. And it's a pretty fun book. Let's hold it up closer so you can get a little peek of what the cover looks like. Well, bam Yeah, anyways, this is the book I wanted to share with you. Really fun book. And, uh, it's, yeah, it's a fun series. Anyways, the series follows a couple of main characters. Uh, their names are Jason and Rachel. And these two characters are both... I feel like both very engaging characters. Fun to go on this adventure and basically it's a portal story meaning there's some characters that go through a portal kind of like Narnia if you think of that story and how that world works where there's a portal that takes you to this other world, other dimension, however you want to think about it. Anyways, Jason and Rachel are both transported into this world called Lyrian and while they're there they've quickly got to figure out what's going on in this world because there's a bad dude called the Emperor um, or the Evil Emperor and he's got this magic. Uh, he's kind of wiped out all the other magicians that there were and so he can kind of be the consolidation of all this major power. Anyways he's got this magic called Adamic and having been a master of Adamic he can kind of organize matter and control things. Living things are able to fight against this power that he wields um, but quickly Jason and Rachel have to figure out how this world is built, how it's made up. Uh, because if they don't figure it out quickly... So what I liked about this story is I liked that it's contemporary fantasy. It's fantasy based off of a world that could be right now, is what that means. Um, meaning that these two characters, they're transported into this world, but they come from our own space and time, theoretically. Yeah, so I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the magic system of this story um, and the way that the magic works in this this land called Lyrian. Um, yeah, Adamic and all of that. I really liked the good story and character of this story, of this whole series, but of the first story, A World Without Heroes. It was very engaging and I liked a lot of the characters and the story built around them. What I didn't like um, and I'm really stretching here on this one, is I felt like the bad guy is really powerful. I guess that makes for a stronger story, because I know it does. I study a lot of story structure, um, so ultimately it's a good thing, but he does feel like super intimidating. I guess that's a thing I didn't like, but I kind of like it too. Um, anyways, we'll move on to the next question. So I've got a few favorite characters from this series, but from book one, I'm going to pick out Jason and Rachel, our two main protagonists. Really like both of them for different reasons. They're both awesome heroes to follow. Um, I like Galaran, which when he's introduced, he's called the Blind King. That's not really a spoiler because as a reader, you know that, but a lot of the characters don't know that. So I really like his character. Um, I like Farron, and he's one of the magical characters in this story. Um, called a Displacer. Super cool magic covering Displacers and then also the people of the seed or seed people. Um, Jasher and Drake were my favorite seed people introduced in book one and uh, they have really cool magic too that kind of keeps them alive. Basically they have a seed in the back of their neck so they can plant that seed and come back to life again so ultimately they can like live forever. Displacers have a lot of magic too. Uh, if they separate a limb or a body part, uh, they can keep like this magical connection to it and keep it alive so they could like leave their ear somewhere and spy on people. Um, so they make really good spies. All right, and then as far as my favorite part. Listen here, I can. I already forget what that person just said, but I'm sure that's important. <sighs> Anyways, hopefully you remembered and you're able to use that word later. Anyways, my favorite part. Let's talk about that. So favorite part from the story. Um, 
To pick a favorite part from the story, I would pick this place called Harthenum, which is basically this really nice prison uh, that the emperor sets up for all of his main people that he doesn't like. The people that fight against him or the people that are very rebellious. He puts them in this place called Harthenum where basically they're kept in there, fed a lot of food and encouraged never to leave. Well, Jason is there. He has this really cool showdown where he's able to use his baseball skills to best the warden of the prison. And it's kind of a fun scene. So you'll just have to read it to check it out. I thought it was kind of a fun one. And very creative to use the hero's strengths that come from something like baseball um, in this magical world to, you know, to survive. Last question, who would I recommend this book to? Honestly, the whole Beyonder series. I would recommend it to people that like adventure stories, um, people that like fantasy fiction, uh, and people that are good readers. It's kind of a little bit older, so I'd say older middle grade, uh, preteen and teens. Good story for that. Also adults that like those types of books uh, and prefer more general audience type material. Good fit for them as well. So that's who I'd recommend it to. All right, anyways, I hope you enjoyed my review of Beyonders, A World Without Heroes, or Beyonders Book One. Um, if you have read the book and you enjoyed a character, or something that I didn't mention, feel free to mention it in the comments below. And let's start a discussion because I like books and I know I have my own opinions and I'd love to hear what your thoughts were, what you liked about the book. Um, yeah, so feel free to leave a comment. Uh, remember to subscribe and share these videos. Um, so we can, uh, yeah, expand the circle of people that love books and want to share them with others. And, uh, yeah, I'd really appreciate that. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. You have a good day. And find a good book. I encourage you. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye.